Hey there you guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's uh, video, continuing on from uh, the previous video, I want to talk about the makeup that I wish I didn't buy. So if this is something that interests you, then just keep on watching. Okay, most of the products I actually still have. One of the products I used up and it's decluttered, you know, and obviously I'm not gonna buy it at all. So actually I'm gonna start with that one and I'll put up a picture over here. So the product that I'm talking about is the ColourPop BFF Mascara. Now, I love the wand on that mascara. It makes my lashes so voluminous, so long and so black. However, the formula is absolute crap it flakes and smudges almost immediately like give it an hour and it's just going to be all over your face so that that's the reason why i would not buy it ever again unless ColourPop comes out with a waterproof mascara then you know i'm willing to give it another try but only in the waterproof uh formula next up is this guy this is the fenty beauty Pro Filter Hydrating Foundation. Now, I bought this because um, from all the reviews that I saw, I realized that the matte foundation, I think would be too matte for me. Um, my skin is combo, so I do get oily, uh, you know, in my T-zone, but all around the rest of my face is fairly normal. Uh, so I thought the hydrating one might be, you know, better for me because, you know, I can powder up my face and, you know, I could, extend the wear of this foundation however it looks fine after you apply it or even it looks okay from what i remember it looks hectic when you apply it. like you can't apply it with a sponge because it will just look patchy right but when you apply it with a brush you know you work it in leave it on for like an hour it looks amazing but then give it like five or six hours and it's just gonna be an oil slick on you if you have combo or oily skin like me so because i have to work with this foundation so much i just don't like it and it costs about 34 euro and so it's not cheap and my catrice hd liquid coverage foundation is eight euro and it keeps me matte it gives a flawless coverage and you can apply it with a sponge or a brush and it looks fine either way so you know an eight euro foundation that is just perfect versus a 34 euro foundation that you have to work with i wish I wish I didn't spend my money on the Fenty one. Next up is a concealer and I bought this concealer ages ago. I still can't believe I haven't, you know, finished it or like I still can't believe that I have it. And the concealer that I'm talking about is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. Uh, I have my one in the shade NC15. It's an okay shade for me. It's it will do but you get so much product in it you get nine mils of product and one pump is enough for both of your eyes so it's a very efficient product because you don't use up a lot per application but there's just too much of it okay like i get bored of products easily and if this was half of what it is now I would be more than happy because I would be already done with it, you know? So it's a good product, it's fairly matte, it has a thin consistency, so if this is something that, you know, you like, or if you're a makeup artist, then I think this would be great. But for me, uh, for a person that only has one face and very rarely uh, do makeup on other people, I think this was a little bit of a waste of money because I'm just, you know, I'm constantly kind of fighting to use it up even though i don't necessarily enjoy it as much so yeah i kind of wish i didn't buy it next up is a powder and i don't think i've ever been disappointed in a powder as much as i was in this one and this is the bourgeois healthy mix powder i love the foundation the healthy mix foundation is my holy grail basically now bourgeois is being discontinued here here in ireland apparently they don't sell well in ireland which i doubt because i think everyone loves the healthy mix so you know i'm kind of bummed i don't have any backups unfortunately of my healthy mix 
Uh, so I'm gonna have to find another holy grail. <laughs> Sad times. But back to this powder. Now, I thought this powder might be like a powder version of the Healthy Mix, which means it's a, you know, like a medium coverage, kind of fresh looking powder, but it's it's not like when you apply it on your face it changes the color of your foundation to a more kind of yellow base so that means you can't apply it underneath your eyes because you literally have yellow under eyes um it kind of works on the you know on the perimeters of my face but you know i want a powder that will work all over my face not just in specific areas so i don't think there is anyone that would make this powder work maybe someone who's darker than me maybe but then it, it would still just change your foundation to orange like to yellow so i don't know i'm like even though this didn't cost a lot of money um i still don't like it and and it makes my oils uh come through uh faster unfortunately so they're yeah not great for oily skin either and the last product that I want to talk about are these eyeshadows. These are from Wet n Wild and this is the Rosé in the Air palette. Now, everyone was raving about how good they are and I have to agree that the mattes are incredible. They're really kind of smooth and buttery, blend out really, really nicely. Like, I really love the mattes. However, the shimmers are so lackluster, like it takes a building and building and building for the mattes to actually, sh for, sorry, for the shimmers to actually show up. So it's not great. Like, you know, how, <laughs> I think, I think it's kind of done arse ways because usually the mattes are kind of fairly crap and the shimmers are amazing. But here the mattes are great and the shimmers are shite. So yeah, for that reason, even though they're so affordable, and the mattes are great i still didn't you know i wish i didn't buy them because this is actually in my declutter uh pile i'm i, I just don't use them i i don't like them because the shimmers are not great but that completes today's video if you enjoyed it please don't forget to give this video a like and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this uh, but yeah thank you very much and i will see you in the next one bye mm.